Hello, my name is Sergio Guerra, and I'm going to give you a brief overview of the civil engineering chart. The chart is broken down into six different columns, two columns for each uh, academic year that you're going to be here at Cal State Fullerton. The, the squares within those columns are all color coordinated. We have the pink color, we have the turquoise, we have the blue, beige, orange, as well as uh, light purple. Each of those colors focuses on different uh, disciplines within the uh, engineering field. For example, the pink focuses on the mathematics, and you can look at the rest down here to identify each of those uh, particular fields. So for example, each one of these little squares have a whole bunch of different symbols that you want to become familiar with. The top, the name on, on the, each of the squares uh, focuses on the particular class name. The number of the course, for example, Math 150A refers obviously to Calculus 1, 150B to Calculus 2, and so on. The next square, for example, here has a GE, uh, refers to the general education, of course. D3 focuses on the, um, on the courses that are listed on your Titan degree audit, uh, which we also call it the TDA. And the D3 focuses on courses that are listed within that category. Here we just list American government. Uh, but if you, for example, uh, look at other courses on D3, you will see that you may have other options that will also satisfy this particular GE course. Uh, another thing you want to pay attention to is the little number here within the parentheses. Uh, here it refers to three, that's three units. And up here is four for four units, and so on and so forth. A lot of the courses vary depending on the units. Um, in high school, you're probably familiar with five credits for each class. Here at the university, they're going to be focusing on different particular uh, amount of units. Um, and another thing I want you to pay attention to is that we have these arrows here. Again, if you look down here at the legend down here, it'll tell you what these arrows mean. What this means is that this class is a prerequisite to that class. If you follow the arrows, it'll tell you that this course is a prerequisite for that. So here, 150A is a prerequisite to 150B as well as to uh, Physics 225. So you cannot take this class until you've finished this class. Again, you cannot take this class unless you finish that class. That's how you read this, okay? Um, one of the other things we wanna make sure that you focus on is that you wanna make sure that you take um, courses that are in, in the sequence that you have to take them. You cannot try to jump uh, another course that it's in a different column just to, uh, you wanna make sure you stay on track. Uh, so the way we want to do this is, is just to give you a heads up is you want to make sure you cross out the courses that you've already have taken or you've already have got given credit for. For example, if you've taken the AP exam and you passed it and you got full credit for it, then you can cross that out. Put an X here so that you know that you've already completed that section. Uh, the same thing for an AP government class or anything like that. And that will allow you to move over to the next class and enroll in that. So I recommend that you put a check mark on those. Uh, on the courses, uh, cross it out if you've already taken it, and then maybe put a check mark on the courses that you want to uh, take for next semester. Uh, we recommend that you take between 12 and 15 units just to make sure that you stay on track. Uh, you're going to need at least 12 units if you're getting financial aid so that you're considered a full time student. Okay, so between 12 and 15 units. Uh, another thing you want to pay attention to uh, is that you want to make sure that you stay within the uh, order of taking the general education courses. They're listed in a way because they're all spread out uh, throughout the four years. You may not want to take all the GEs right away because you want to make sure that they're, uh, they're giving you the opportunity to have at least uh, 12 uh, to 15 units every semester. Okay, this is a quick brief uh, overview of the uh, Bachelor of Science degree in Civil Engineering. Uh, thank you and uh, have a great day.